Hello everyone, I am Asta from KMC Media, a second year student of Physics Honours and today we are honoured to have with us the Chairman of University Grants Commission, Professor M. Jagadish Kumar. Hello sir, how are you feeling here today? Oh, I am feeling really energised seeing all of you. There is so much of enthusiasm and that youngness. I am really happy to be here amongst you today. Okay sir, so we have a few questions for us, mostly regarding the work of the University Grants Commission. First of all, uh, what are the primary goals and long-term visions of the National Education Policy 2020 and how do you see them aligned with what the society needs right now? I want to ask you one question. We want to provide you freedom, flexibility and choices so that you can get the best education would you like to have that? Certainly. We are working precisely to realize that goal. To make sure that you can work to realize your own dreams through education. So today in our country, people like you are in majority. And uh, they want to bring change in our country. They want to make it a developed country. But how will they become, how can, how can they change our country unless they have the knowledge and skill set and it is the colleges and universities that is where we can provide this knowledge to you. So as UGC we are bringing many many reforms so that you are empowered to make decisions on what to study, how to study. So we want to bring that kind of flexibility in your education. Okay, sir. So the next question about international collaboration partnership, like how, how much do you think it is important for higher education institutions and how we can promote that and increase that in the universities? See, today we cannot remain in silos, whether it is geopolitics or the supply chain system across the globe or the monetary system. Everything is interconnected through technology. So therefore, you also have to think globally how India can play an important role. So therefore, collaborating with other countries, with other educational institutions also becomes very, very important. And that's the reason why UGC has recently introduced a new regulation using which you can go to foreign countries, stay there for a semester or two, study and bring those credits back to your college here. So these kind of collaborations are very, very important. Also, sir, uh, like the new uh, national education policy and a lot of work has been put into that, but how do higher education institutions make sure that these um, frameworks that have been put in place, that they are implemented and they stay relevant to what, the, to what students need? See, we need to involve the students as well as the teachers to discuss about how technology can be brought in into our higher education and how new uh, courses can be offered to you in emerging areas. Today the challenge is not lack of jobs. There are plenty new jobs that are coming. But are you ready with the required skills to take up those jobs? So therefore we have to collectively work and see if we can bring this kind of multidisciplinarity into your education. Let us say you are doing BA economics. Can you also do some minors in machine learning? Can you also do uh, a minor in logistic management? So this kind of multidisciplinarity has to be brought in because you cannot predict what kind of jobs will come next year and next year. So you need to be prepared yourself for that. So we are all working collectively towards that goal. Sir, you mentioned technology and your work uh, throughout your life has been centered a lot around technology like your research on semiconductor devices and such in DU and in KMC specifically there has been a lot of work going on towards things around technology the Robo Club and everything you saw mentioned in the PPT so how excited are you for that? I mean it's, it's I'm so glad to see your students participating um, I was told the two students worked uh, on a NASA project I mean, these are the things our young people are capable of doing. But for too long, our students were not provided that kind of opportunity to be critical thinkers, to question the status quo, to question the authority. You should not remain 
uh, happy with what is told to you you should question it critically think only when you are convinced you should agree to that only then new ideas are generated so don't try to be conformist be that person who will question the status quo and bring the change so sir that is your message to all the students gather here anything else you'd like to say for especially the net batch that is going to enter the four, the final year all that i want i would like to say is that there is enormous inner potential within yourself look into yourself and identify what are your strengths and build your future on that okay thank you sir